think you will most take from that experience, whether it was maybe something you learned or something you, you saw or being with other players like that? I honestly think it was just the whole experience. Um, you know, being a part of a best on best tournament like that is, uh, you know, it's a great experience for myself and, you know, all the young guys. So, um, you know, we had a great time and, um, you know, unfortunate the way it turned out, but, you know, it's almost hard to be upset with, with the way how the, you know, the tournament went. I mean, um, you know, if you told me at the beginning of the tournament that we were going to beat Finland and Sweden, you know, you'd almost guarantee, you know, we'd go through and you'd take that. So, um, you know, it is what it is. It sucks, but, you know, we had a great time and, and nothing but uh, happy feelings from it. Coming in, do you feel like you're in game shape, I guess, and maybe a step ahead of everyone else that hasn't had a chance to play high-intensity games like that? For sure, yeah. I think everyone playing in that tournament has that advantage of, you know, playing uh, six games or whatever we did. So, um, you know, in games that were, were very competitive and, and very fast-paced. So, um, you know, I think definitely any, anyone who played in that tournament has, has a little bit of an advantage. It was great. Um, you know, definitely felt you know very humbled and proud to wear the C uh, you know, on a team like that. So um, I was very comfortable with it. And um, yeah. it looks like uh, you'll skate with Milan here for a little bit. Can you just discuss when you have a player of that size and the way he plays the game, how you try and use him and make that work? Yeah, uh, I, you know, I, I was at the game last night and you know, I almost had my eyes wide open. You know, I was so happy to, to watch him play. <laughs> um, you know, just the way he plays, it's gonna it's gonna work well. I think um, you know, he opens up so much room. He wins battles. He keeps a ton of pucks alive. I mean, um, you know, he's almost a perfect winger for myself. How many exhibition games do you, do you want to get into, or do you think you need to get into before? So you're obviously up to pace right now. So how many exhibition games do you think you have to go? No, it's not up to me. It's not my choice. So um, you know, I'll obviously leave that up to the coaching staff. And, and you know, I you know I love playing. So um, whether it's all of them, whether it's one of them, two of them, I don't really care. I'm, I'm just happy to play in any game. Yeah, that's pretty special. I think uh, he would have been a good winger for us, but uh, um, well, definitely that would have been uh, that's a very nice compliment. Yeah. Um, uh, no, it's not at all. Um, you know, these are all you know my buddies, and, and you know, I like them all. So, um, you know, I haven't seen them in a while, just from you know obviously the summer and all that. So, happy to see all of them again and, and you know, catch up with them. But um, you know, ultimately, we we did become a fairly close team, and you know, with North America and those relationships that you know you have for a long time, and um, you know how however long you keep that, that's really up to you. So, um, you know, definitely hard to say goodbye to those guys, but you know, happy to come back to Edmonton to these guys. Pardon me? What extent do you feel like a veteran now instead of a little, a little bit. I mean, it's hard to say a veteran at all. So, um, you know, I definitely feel more comfortable, just a little bit more experience. And, you know, I know all the guys. And, and um, I think last year that was a hard thing for me to come in and not really know anyone. And you didn't really know your place and all that. So, um, you know, definitely uh, feel a lot more comfortable heading into this year.